My name is Ankit Duvedi. My B.Tech is from JSS State in Noida. M.Tech is from DTU. Presently, I am doing PhD. And I have cleared UPSC Engineering Sessions Examination 2015 with an All India Rank 46 in Mechanical Engineering. Engineering Sessions is a two tier examination. There are objective papers, conventional papers, and personal tests. In the first tier, there is five papers, five tests, three are objective, two are conventional. After getting through the written examination, you get to appear in the personal test at the UPSC level and there you get through the personal test and after that a combined merit list comes on the basis of which you get selected. To appear in the EAC, all you need is a degree in any department, in any branch. You, there are only four departments in which uh, EAC is arranged, mechanical, electrical, civil and electronics. You can have degree in CS, you can have degree in polymer, you can, degree, you can have degree in anything. You can, if you are having engineering degree, you can appear in the commission. There is no, no percentage criteria. 60, 65, 70, there is nothing like that. If, even if you are having 50% in the BTEC and you have, you have cleared it, you are eligible for appearing in the commission. There are five papers. First, the general ability in which there is English, GS. You can go for GS wherever you want to study. English is always confined. You can go for the previous year papers, they are always available, around 50-20 years papers. Then comes the GS, GS is enormous, extremely wide, you have to choose what you have to study. Then comes the paper 1 technical, objective and conventional. The paper 1 technical would be comprising 5-6 uh, subjects and of, from that subject there will be objective questions and uh, conventional questions. First will be the objective day. The entire paper, entire examination is arranged in three days. First will be for the general event. Then second would come the day of objective papers. Objective paper one, objective paper two. Paper one, paper two means the entire engineering is divided into two papers. And uh, in the objective papers, there will be objective questions. There will be only two, two hours for the objective papers. You will appear in the objective on the second day, then comes the first day, the third day and in that third day it is the paper one conventional first of three hours and then after two hours gap there will be paper two conventional. After your written examination you will be called at UPSC for the interview. You will wait there for two hours, three hours, maybe more, then you will be called at your serial, you will enter in the examination, at, enter in the room of the UPSC member. He will start interacting with you. He may ask about your hobbies, he may ask about your uh, interests, he may ask about the current affairs in the country that's going on. After he is done with you, there will be three technical members. They will be asking about mainly the technical aspects. They can it can be practical, it can be theoretical. After that, you will last there for 20, 25, 30 minutes. It is advisable to join a coaching institute. They will properly guide you and they will be telling you all the Indian author books and foreign author books. You, you should, from my point of view, you should try to go for two books at least. Even if you are not studying the book properly, you can go through the book and you can get more and more points. Go through the previous questions and get points from there. Only then you will be able to recall everything when it is required at the examination time. For further queries about placements and further studies, subscribe the following channel.